Today, I'll be giving you guys 10 secret Warzone tips that are a game changer, and you definitely don't want to miss any single one. The last one is going to blow your mind. Let's get right into it. So right off the bat, if you go to interface and you go to color customization, usually your ping is white and very unnoticeable. So a big thing to do if you want to change that is you want to go to your neutral color and whatever you choose here is what the ping color is going to be. And this also is for your teammates ping. So if your teammates ping something and you can't see because it's white and it blends with everything on the map, well, that's a problem. So you can change whatever color you want. Some, some of you guys like lighter, some of you guys like darker. I definitely recommend a something in between so it's very noticeable. So for example, with this green right here, now if I pink something, you can see it's a very dark green and it's not that white color, which is very hard to see. Whenever you are in a gulag and you want a triple play, here's a nice little tip. You can find a triple play here on the floor and now you have three plates and you can actually play it up in the gulag once you find this. Now I'm fully plated with three plates and I can push my enemy. And he doesn't know. He stands no chance. Now the triple plate will either spawn on top of the plat in the middle or right next to the staircase. So keep that in mind. For the next secret tip that a lot of people don't know about, gas stations are your best friend. Now whenever you're trying to regain on the map, or even trying to find some money and some loot, gas stations will have your teammates back every single time. Now, let me show you why. Not only is there a guaranteed cash register with money, as you can see, you get money every single gas station. There's always money all around. So you're gonna see money, money, money. And this is in every single gas station. So you just get very rich very quickly. And just like that, I'm about five, maybe, I don't even know if I had money to begin with, but I'm about $6,000 richer. For this next tip, this is never done before, but you can actually carry three weapons in Warzone 2. So if you have a medium or a larger backpack, you can carry an extra weapon. So you see, I have my two main menu weapons here, and then I can carry an extra one. So to do this, you obviously go to any weapon once you have a bigger backpack. It says hold to stow, and boom. So now this is really beneficial if you, for example, want to have a sniper or if you want to have like a sub AR and a sniper. So for example, on a map like this, where it's very long range gunfights and long range sights, if I have a sub AR, which is usually what people use or sub an LMG, and then I want to be like, hey, I can't kill that guy. I'm going to switch to my sniper. You equip it. Boom. Got my sniper. Take care of the guy. Boom. Switch it back. And just like that. And it's really freaking good. It's, it's handy for sure. Try it out. Now, this is very important. What I'm going to be talking about next. In Warzone 2, we or Warzone 1, matter of fact, we still have the slide cancel to reset our attack sprint. But now in Warzone 2, slide canceling is no longer a thing. And after sprinting for a little bit of time, you start to sprint at a slower speed, which is a regular sprint instead of the tactical sprint. So you want to be able to do the tactical sprint most of the time. Now, these are the three main ways to reset it. There are other ways, but this is usually what you can do. So the way to reset this tax sprint is you start sprinting. And then as soon as it's done, you want to punch the air. And then you sprint again, punch the air, sprint again, punch the air, sprint again. And as you can see, I'm, I always have my tax sprint. Now you can time it to where you're completely done or you can time it to as you're about to be done. And this way you just always have the attack sprint. Now this is, can be faster and can be faster in certain situations. Another way to do it is dolphin diving. This is the way I like to do it just cause it like propels you forward and it's kind of fun. <laughs> but you basically dolphin dive pretty often. And the last way is, is just better and more beneficial in closer combat. But if you kind of spam your ADS, you're gonna kind of ha always have your unlimited attack sprint if you do it correctly. And this is another way to do it, but it is, uh, as I like to say, a little bit tedious. But hey, if your gun is down, you're ready to shoot, and they are dead. So in Warzone 2, they added two new features to the zip line, the thing we all love but hate at the same time. But with these changes, it's definitely better. Uh, for the first big thing is you can actually parachute, and this can be done anywhere on the map, even like a map like the part of the high rise where the buildings are very high and the zip lines are very long. But basically, you can zip line, you can jump into any zip line and start zipping up midair. So, for example, I'm like this, 
and then you're going to press the zip line, grab it. You can grab it midair. This is very beneficial if you don't want to go all the way down to the floor, especially on bigger parts or bigger buildings. If you're flying down kind of all, or you're trying to fly down to another zip line, you can kind of do this technique. It's definitely very beneficial. Another thing to know in this game, because a lot of people don't know, is that you can actually get off the zip line. So you can basically jump off it whenever you want. And this was kind of a problem in, um, I like to say, Warzone 1. You get kind of get stuck in a zip line sometimes. And you can get killed from it very easily, especially because it's a little bit delayed sometimes, or it's at most places you couldn't do it. So definitely good to know. So loadouts drop later in the game, usually at the third or fourth circle. And something you need to know is they disappear, right? As soon as someone grabs them, they disappear on the map. For example, someone just grabbed this one. So what you want to do is you want to always, and especially if you're about to push one, you want to leave a ping near the loadout. That way, you know where it last was. And as long as I pay attention, I can kill this guy. And now grow, go grab the loadout he was just on. But wait, there is more. So that is one of the loadout tips because as soon as someone grabs them they disappear so usually you want to leave a ping right next to it not on it because as soon as they grab it you will no longer have the icon on your screen but right next to it that way you know where it last was or you ping it to a teammate so you have an idea but there's an extra tip with this and this is a whole new tip when you grab a loadout and you have money it takes away actually five to six to seven hundred dollars away from your and this could be you know benefit uh not beneficial this could be devastating if you're trying to re revive revive a teammate if you're trying to res a teammate by uav and you're like oh i have 4k and then you just don't have it anymore so something you want to do and you can do is it's a little bit risky but not really is you want to drop all your money grab the loadout so for example i'm gonna grab my loadout and then pick up the money back and that way you didn't lose anything So in Warzone 2, there is no red dots on the minimap unless you have a UAV up, but your compass is your best friend. You can actually see red dots or shots whenever someone's shooting at you on the compass. So if I get in a fight with someone who doesn't have a silencer, for example, a guy right here, I need him to kind of shoot at me. You see how the red dot appears on the minimap? And this can be at very far distances. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, somewhat up close. And this is how you can pinpoint enemies' locations. So I want this guy to shoot at me real quick. But I don't I don't want to kill anybody. You see the red dots are appearing up right there in the middle. And this is good because not only is it going to show where you're getting shot from, it's also going to allow you to pinpoint and find people in situations where you can't find them. Like if you're running around, hey, I can't find wherever this guy's at. Well, that's going to change with this compass tip. And this is a very important and big tip in Warzone 2. This is something you're going to see everyone abusing. Everyone. Because radars, the sh bullets no longer appear on the radar. So this is very bad. So I see shots over here. Very far. But you can see there's a little red dot in my compass. So if they shoot again, you're going to be able to see that. And you're going to see some more red dots kind of appearing everywhere. So I'm going to come. I'm going to go to the action real quickly. See the red dots. Two red dots. Two people shooting. On the compass, very, very OP. Drop a like just for this tip. Compass shots here, shots here. And this is important because, like I said, not only is it going to allow you to see kind of where people are shooting at or maybe if they're shooting at you, but it's also going to allow you to pinpoint exact locations and find people, which is important when, you know, trying to kill people or find get kills. So these guys are shooting and it's just so easy. Like the fact that I can see this, this is going to be used a lot in Warzone 2. GG's. And this is the last one for you guys. If you did not know, if you pay attention to the end game almost every single game, it usually ends around this area of the map. And I'm telling you, this is not a joke. This is not a lie. This is an important tip to understand because this is going to get you more wins and put your game awareness on point. So. A lot of times you're going to notice the final circle or one of the final circles are going to be in this area. And I'm not freaking kidding. This is how they have Warzone 2 at the moment. You can say it's placed uh, on purpose. It probably is. It has some like kind of static spawns of these last circles. So it's really important to understand this, that one of the last circles are always going to be here. So if you're ever wondering like, oh, where's the end game circle? Where's it going to be? 
or should i rotate to if you rotate to this area right here you're usually in a good spot to win the game if you guys enjoy these type of videos we have a lot more secret and slash pro tips to break down in warzone 2 so make sure to subscribe drop that like it is much appreciated and drop a comment if you did enjoy it i'll catch you guys in the next pro tip video peace out